the G Way Podcast with Deacon Dirty. Now, so uh, you know, you wear you know a few different hats. You know, you're you're an artist, producer, uh, <clears throat> a TV uh, uh, star, film star. Which which hat do you like wearing the most? Man, I love it all, man, because all of it is in the context of who I am. You know, I'm an entertainer and I'm a gospel uh, preacher and singer, all of that. So I love the entertainment. Mm -hmm. I love writing the music. I love producing the music. I love performing the music. I love yeah. uh, preaching the gospel, helping people, loving people, uh, empowering people. So that's all. All that is who I am. So it's I love it all. I don't think it's one that I choose over the other. Okay. Uh, uh, but if, if I had to choose one over everything, I love being a father, man, more than anything. That's what's up. And uh, that brings me, that gives me so much purpose every day to see how my kids are developing. And, you know, you're able to live your life over again. Right. You know, relive your childhood yeah, days yeah, yeah. and your children, you know. And it's amazing. And they're in uh, kindergarten and, and first grade and third grade. And it's just, I'm having a joy just, you know especially during this quarantine time, you know, this pandemic last year and all that, you know, I was right. able to really like lock in on my kids and see what's going on with each one of them. Like how you need to develop here. You need to be better. Stop being, be a disforcement. Stop being so mad and at your sister, <laughs> be jealous. You know, I was able to get in there and, you know, teach them. So I love all that, man. So uh, is the, uh, I guess you all doing, is it the virtual learning there too? No, actually, man, we did one week of that, and it just wasn't good because my kids were distracted, tearing up the house. They were they wasn't in school; they were at they, home, they was in and they around, looked right? at the screen when it felt like it, and then it kept going. I was like, "Hold on, you got to sit here and listen." And the teachers were having a hard time too because they had students in the class and on the, the computer, so it's hard to juggle the two when you got these are kid, kindergarten kids; these are first graders. So that's that was rough on the. Uh, uh, the, the teachers, they don't, they don't pay them enough for that. <laughs> yeah, true that, true that. And how's the, uh, you know, how we talk about Corona, how has it affected uh, you, your industry, you know, and what you do? I mean, I'm, 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 I think I heard you were, right when they hit, you were, um, you were on tour and had to get sent. Oh, yeah. Basically, the tour had to end right there at that moment. My record came out March 10th, I believe. The street date was March 10th. I mm -hmm. had a six-week tour. I was on the tour. I think it was on the first week of the tour. I had hit New York, Chicago, Detroit, and Atlanta in one week. We That's how strenuous the schedule was. Yeah, yeah. And when I got to Atlanta, that's when all the, the, the mess hit the fan. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they, I think they canceled the Atlanta game with the Hawks. Yeah. yeah. And that's what made everybody be like, oh, they canceled an they, NBA they game? Real, yeah. Right, they called me like, you going home, man. We canceling this tour because we don't want you to get sick on us. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh yeah, let me call my family, make sure everybody's straight. Because it was almost like apocalyptic. It felt like everybody needed to check on everybody. Like, this day, we about to go, it's about to go down. But now you got so, yeah, to figure out back to LA, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hopped on the first thing smoking, man, back home to LA and been in LA ever since March of, of 2020. I hadn't been on a, a tour, hadn't done any live, performances yeah, yeah, yeah. so you talk about how's it affected our industry it's affected everybody in the industry every gospel singer every not art gospel r&b singer mm -hmm. pop singer nobody's doing live shows yeah and so and 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 so it's it's affected us you know because that's where the bulk of your that's where a big chunk where the bread come from yeah. of your money come in when you do them shows yeah. it's coming a little quicker than the you know the, the wait on the residual checks to come right. through right. you know and this and, and you know and good for if people had multiple streams of income, uh, that's a blessing. So it teaches yeah. us, uh, you got to make sure you have uh, money flow happening every which way, not just mm -hmm. one way, right. you know? And so beautiful thing is I had all the kind of stuff going on. So I'm straight, but I'm thinking about all the other artists who don't have all this stuff going on, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And so I've been concerned about them, praying for them and, you know, reaching out to people the best I could. Yeah. But, uh, you know, because we in this together at the end of the day, you know, Absolutely. so but we making it. We making it. Amen. And, and for a gospel artist, man, I mean, you know, I'm not going to say that I know all about the, the gospel music industry or all that good stuff. But I know the money is kind of scarce to begin with. So you 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 busting your behind to get it and get it popping. Um, um, you know, like on a secular side, you know, like everybody can kind of be the star. But on the gospel side, you got your, it's kind of hand selected. Or I don't know how it's, how it was chiseled out. You know what I'm saying? And so uh -huh, if you ain't right. a Dietrich Hatton, it, it can get rough for you. You know what I'm saying? 
it, it can get rough for the for the stars too. You know, it's, it's rough for everybody, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think nobody's. You know, you're, we've seen a significant dip when it comes to that money coming in. You yeah. know, I don't care who they are, how big they are, whether Yolanda Adams and Kirk, whoever it is, yeah, you yeah. got a dip in your money. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but yeah, man. I mean, you know, this is where this is where brotherhood and sisterhood, family comes into play. This is where the gospel really comes into play. Are we yeah. really in this together? Are we really about <laughs> loving our neighbor? Are we really about taking care of each other and mm -hmm. thinking about each other? You know what I'm saying? This is the truth. The truth is being told right now. And yeah. we're finding a lot of people are imposters, man. They're selfish, they're wow. self-centered. Uh, and, 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 and this, like I said, 2020 has done us a solid, you know? <laughs> Say so again, you know, with a real slim shady, please stand up. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs>